Uh, my name is Georgios Hadzilau. It's a little bit difficult. Uh, so, in continuation uh, for what uh, my colleague uh, from Athens taught uh, to us before, I have first to show you that I have none financial interests and uh, whenever, however our, uh, my colleagues uh, have. So, the question that I have to do to you today is uh, if it's uh, possible uh, to investigate keratoconus uh, with uh, epithelial imaging. Here is uh, our team's recent uh, uh, publication that uh, show us for the first time using uh, the ultrasound imaging that uh, there is a difference, as you can see here, in a normal eyes in keratoconic patients and in uh, patients that uh, they are undergone out uh, cross-linking. Here I have an example uh, of uh, clinical validation with OCT. There's a patient with uh, corneal scarring, and as you can see uh, here, there's an epithelial compensation that, uh, as we can see here, the epithelial mask, masks all the uh, uh, abnormalities of the cornea. Here is how uh, the epithelial looks like in a patient with a keratoconus. As you can see, here is uh, the total pachymetry of, uh, of the cornea, and here we can see uh, how is the epithelial mapping. You can see that the uh, epithelium is uh, thinner in the places that, uh, in the area, sorry, that uh, the cornea is uh, steeper and uh, is uh, more thicker in the, in the areas that the cornea is, uh, more, uh, uh, is more flat. But uh, this patient is, the only, is not the only one that we uh, is undergone out, uh, down out of our screening every day. We have a lot of patients uh, with uh, keratoconus that uh, undergone out, uh, down our uh, screening uh, we have uh, over a thousand uh, examples to show you. Here are some of them, and you can see this difference that I told you before uh, of uh, the epithelium uh, in correlation with uh, cornea mapping. Here we can see the, uh, how is a normal, a normal epithelial distribution is so all uh, green, as uh, Dr. Asimelis told you before. And uh, we can see also the standard deviation that is uh, 0.7, and this is an interesting thing to show to you. So uh, the, our, our purpose is uh, to evaluate uh, the safety and the efficacy uh, in case of uh, measurement of epithelial thickness and uh, to investigate patterns in descriptive statistic of uh, epithelium distribution in keratoconic patients. And uh, for this, we're employing the anterior segment uh, optical coherence tomography, the OCT. Uh, our initial results, uh, there's a study here that we can see that uh, how is, uh, there's a correlation between the Symfrog imaging and the OCT imaging. You can see here is a typical example of a patient with uh, keratoconus, and uh, as you can see, the areas that uh, is uh, more steep is also correlate with the images of uh, the uh, epithelial mapping. So, uh, I have to told you before that our team in Athens uh, screens all the patients with uh, uh, with a lot of uh, screening uh, uh, imaging, material imaging, and uh, uh, we have here our methods that uh, there's uh, two groups of uh, 250 eyes that uh, there were in, uh, investigated in epithelial thickness and uh, epithelial topographic thickness distribution. Here is our results. We can see here in the green is, uh, there is the normal eyes and here is the uh, eye, keratoconic eyes. We can see the thickness rates and also the thickness variability. Uh, but also we screen our, uh, uh, our patients with uh, 
typical Seinfeld image in which we test the keratoconic severity with two uh, specific indices, that is HSA and HID. And we see here how these are correlated with uh, the evaluation of keratoconic severity. Here are some other results. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I think I have to show you that uh, there is a correlation with IHD and IHSV, but uh, the most important is to see that it is uh, in a mild keratoconic eyes is uh, how is correlated the epithelial thickness with uh, IHD and IHSV. And in our conclusions, uh, arterial segment OCT epithelium also supports previous findings with uh, high frequency ultrasound measurements of the increase of overall epithelial thickness in keratoconic eyes in comparison with the normal. But uh, the most important is that the, uh, uh, that the, the epithelial mapping with OCT is uh, a clinical instrument that's available to all of you. And uh, we can uh, use this, uh, uh, the, the OCT in, uh, also give us uh, further offers and possibility to have the higher predictability of measurement, which may be significant advantage. Thank you very much, and sorry for my stress. It's the first time that I'm talking to an audience, and uh, thank you very much.